Hello everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel Physiology Learning. I am Dr. Ram. In today's Explain Why series, we are going to discuss why hypocalcemia causes tetany. Let's see the reason behind it. When hypocalcemia, the term is used for tetany, most of us gets confused because calcium is very very essential for muscle contraction. How come tetany happen in a hypocalcemia? Because tetany is a hyper excitable state. The answer to this key note is this hypocalcemia is not the intracellular calcium levels. This hypocalcemia is a term used whenever the calcium levels of ECF that is the extracellular fluid or the circulating levels are reduced. So first make clear that this hypocalcemia is extracellular fluid hypocalcemia. So let's see the property of calcium which is outside the membrane. Outside the membrane, suppose if we have a membrane like this and so many phospholipids and ion channels, this calcium has the property to go and bind to this phospholipids. So the calcium can go and bind to this phospholipids. If there is availability of calcium, it goes and binds to this phospholipids and it stabilizes the membrane. So calcium is a, actually a membrane stabilizer. That is the ECF calcium is a membrane stabilizer. Now, what is the condition? However, the condition is hypocalcemia. So, there is non-availability of this calcium to stabilize the membrane. So, the stability of the membrane is affected. So, what will happen? The membrane has become destabilized. So, even a slight impulse, any impulse from the neuron, it will lead to a hyper excitable state. So, that is what happens in case of hypocalcemia. So the calcium ions usually they bind to the negatively charged group in the membrane phospholipids to stabilize them. So lower calcium levels, the membrane is not stabilized, lower calcium levels is our hypocalcemia. So leading on to a hyper excitable membrane. I hope it's clear. There is one another reason which has been shown in studies which is the threshold. That is the threshold level to excite a cell has itself come down. So, suppose for an example, here they have shown an action potential. This is an action potential and this bowl line shows as a normal threshold. Whenever they have studied in hypocalcemic patient, see the hypocalcemia level, the threshold has reduced itself. The threshold has become more negative. If it has become more negative, what does it mean? It is hyper excitable. I hope it's clear the reason for hypocalcemia causing tetany. Thank you for listening. We'll meet in the next video. Thank you.